he didn't comment publicly on my biography, but I talked to a director who worked for him and made a film for him who said, Stephen loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. <laughs> so that's, I guess he likes the book. Um, mine is actually one of the few favorable biographies of him. Um, there are a lot of children's biographies that are all favorable, but I'm not counting those. I'm talking about the more for the adult audience. Several of them are really critical of Spielberg. They, there's a kind of a hostility towards Spielberg in certain circles of academia and journalism that's sort of waning now, but it used to be very strong where a lot of people are jealous of him, I think is what it comes down to, or think he's this just a popular entertainer and just sort of crass manipulator of public sentiment, which I, I really dispute. I think he's a serious artist, and he's also a great popular artist which is a rare combination. Uh, I compare him in my book to Charles Dickens, who was a great popular artist. It doesn't make him any less of an artist that he was popular, it makes him actually greater, because he appealed to a broader spectrum of people, and Spielberg can appeal to everybody. Um, but in some people's mind, that is a flaw in him, you know? But in, in my mind, it's a strength. So I think that's probably why he likes my book, if, if that account is correct. He hasn't. I don't know if you've seen the new version yet, it just came out, and so I don't know if he's going to read it or whatever, but um, I've been happy that just, you know, all kinds of regular readers have enjoyed the book, and, and uh, I was just talking to one of my students yesterday who said when he was in eighth grade he wrote a book report on it for school, <laughs> which is nice to know. <laughs> now this guy's one of my students, you know.